Hello there. Hello there. Wow. And I'll make the steeple chase area look beautiful. They'll make him look so glam. I can trim the flowers first. Could you go around the steeple chase area and place them in the empty bases? It'll really break. Oh yeah, it's gonna make it look so swell. Wow. Yeah. Man, we are going to light up so many places. There are five yeah. whole areas where we can place flowers. And they're all at the exact start of the place in that dress, whatever. Nothing says decorating an entire mountain path like decorating only a single portion. I could be a florist. That looks good. More like I'm Barbie and I can't really be bothered. Oh me. It's got to look right. They make weird use out of capital letters. That looks great. <sighs> so glad we're here together at Camp Barbie. So glad. I can't think of any way I'd rather spend my summer. I cannot think of any way I'd rather spend my summer either. You have no idea. So Barbie, I was talking with Mrs. Roberts down at the <sighs> and she really needs 12 buckets of wild 12 for the big buckets. They pick she's making for all the camp attendees. I told her I'd pick six buckets and you'd pick six buckets. I know I shouldn't have volunteered you like that. Yes. But come on, berry picking will be fun. Six buckets? Are you insane? I'm just, you know what? Yeah. I'll leave that for later. Nice seeing you, Bobby. Nice seeing you again. I'm not leaving this for late. This is bothering me now. Unless I cannot climb this tiny, tiny hill without going all the way around it. Ugh. Please, Bobby. Mm, I love raspberries. You know, one good thing though, is that their definition of an entire bucket of raspberries is not what a human being would call a bucket, but rather like a couple. But sure. Also, mm, I love raspberries. I'm not sure what kind of giant super kick you'd want to need an entire That's bucket so of raspberries for. Yeah. Let alone 12 buckets. Mm, I love raspberries. But maybe these people's buckets are just really small. Have you ever seen 12 buckets of raspberries? Have you ever tried eating 12 buckets of raspberries? You would explode. You would actually explode with the raspberry explosion. And it would be very delicious. But simultaneously, exploding, not the best. Not healthy, not good for you. And you will not look glam. And we are trying to groom, and we are trying to look glam. And that's all we gotta consider right now. I love raspberries. Did you know that Barbie loves raspberries? Because I certainly did my horse's stuff. Okay, there we yeah. go. <sighs> Maybe now I can finally stop talking to Teresa and do whatever this person wants me to do. Nice see good. Trap looks clean. Clean. I'm giving it a green light. Anytime you're ready to practice your steeplechase skills, you know where, you the know where to find me. Cross country are different events from just racing. Jumping over the obstacles without error is key, but doing it quickly is extremely difficult. Practice hey, we should just do it now. Let's stop her from talking. She talks very, very slowly. She talks slower than anyone I've ever met in my entire life, and that includes um, Slow Pete. That includes Slow Pete. Slowest talker of the West. This person. That was, too close. that was terrible. But it's fine because we don't have a certain amount of tries for this. We could probably actually hit all of them yeah. without there really being any negative downside to any of this. So it's fine. It doesn't matter that we just just terribly bad at jumping because we have plenty of time to do this entire obstacle course. Here's the piece. This is why we got the best horse all around. This is why we got this particular black looking horse. Because we all know that the black horse is the finest horse. And you can trust me because I know nothing about horses. Except the only thing I know, again, is that the Dutch are good at it somehow. But I think they're mostly actually just good at sort of prancing around with the horse and then they get medals. Which is far and away the most fine of the Olympic challenges. Sitting and prancing. In fact, I think 
Maybe it's something I should consider in my life. Becoming a professional prancer. Because that sounds like the kind of thing I'd be. Just a bastard. The bee's knees. The horse's knees. If I could stop getting stuck in trees with my horse, I might have a chance. I might have a chance for glory. But until then, maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe there's more to it than just prancing. I don't know. Never really paid attention to the Olympic horse prancing myself. And I've only really uh, ever heard that we were good at it. Never really looked at the event myself. I sort of saw it once and it didn't really look like anything was happening, but somehow we won. So, hey, yeah, sure. Why not, right? These obstacles are impossible, by the way. They are so high. My horse is not very good at jumping, but hey, that's fine. Okay, come on. We have 13 seconds to just walk a small amount. Take it. Okay. It's all good. So now we're gonna walk back to the old lady. And she'll be like, hey, you should come back later. And then we just run back to the stables and it's like, hey, you can come back now. It won't be long before you're ready to move on to the final ceremony. Yes! If you manage to get all five ribbons before graduation day, you'll be the first person ever to do that since we started the camp. Wow. Will we be able oh, to do it? Cross country is no joke, Bobby. You must ride you fast. Must... Ribbon. Wow, I can actually do it immediately. That's somewhat of a miracle. Will we actually do it in one try, though? Will we be the first people in the entire world? In the entire human civilization ever to do this did we are we driving the path backwards now actually because that's what it looks like and it feels like this path was made to be driven backwards considering some of the obstacles not being really made to jump over in the opposite direction but you know that's what practice is for you practice in areas that are harder so when it comes to the olympics it's gonna be easier for you and everyone will be like wow that's that person's amazing and without that person, our lives would be not what they would be today. And as you can see, it's much easier now that we've taken the hard path first. And we're doing the easy path for the ribbon. One might also say that Barbie's just not very good at practicing. And she probably should just practice the routine that she was going to do. But hey, it, it's working out better for her. That she took out the harder path first and then the easier one. As long as she doesn't fall off this mountain, which I'm trying. Oh god, there's a bridge. Oh man, we're doomed. Never mind, we've lost. There is no way. There is no way. Very carefully, I'm doing this. Because remote controls are terrible. <laughs> they are the worst invention when it comes to anything that involves movement. In many ways, but whatever. We're just, we live, we got past the bridge, which is most likely gonna be the trickiest thing about this. I can't imagine there being anything harder than that bridge, so... I think we're in the clear, but never, never think some... Oh, there's another bridge. Never mind, we've lost. Again. Oh my god, we did the perfect bridge cross! Yes! We are the masters of the horse. Go us. We were born to do this. We were ready to do this all this time. We were ready to remove those five nests from the track. So we can do this final obstacle course. And finally, we've beaten Barbie Morse Adventures Riding Cap. You have successfully completed the challenge. All right, let's go back to old lady. Maybe she got a ribbon for us. It's gonna be way, gonna be swell. Hello, old oh, lady. You've done it. Oh. Barbie, I'm proud to offer you the highest event ribbon our camp can offer. Oh yeah. The cross country ribbon. Oh. You are the first to earn all five ribbons in her first visit to the camp. Perhaps Jenna can find a place for you here as a teacher after all. Perhaps you're not entirely useless after all. Graduation day. Your cross country performance was really strong, Barbie. Every instructor here on the island has seen how far you've come this summer. It's been a good summer. You've passed all the tests we've set, and you've come through with flying colors. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Head over to the mansion. They're probably getting started with the graduation party. I'm looking forward to the graduation party. Is there anything else? Yeah, I should just go to the stables. Stables. Stop blaze. Stop blaze. Stop blaze. Stable. Ah, what a beautiful new morning. What a beautiful new morning. 
I got my fifth ribbon. Before I'm gonna do anything for all you bozers, I'm going in back inside the stall blaze. Get my finest horse. And you guys can look at how an amazing person looks like. While you cowards just sort of sit there and do nothing. You just sit around and pretend life is like a box of chocolates. But here I am showing you that life is actually... Which one should I take out this time? Oh, Holstein. That looks so fine. Holsteiner, you are mine. Ha! -ha! I preferred the other one, but whatever. We're going on this horse. We're going to talk to the lady. Hello, Barbie. Hello, Barbie. And Whoa. get. There you go. Thank you, Barbie. This is just the right amount. The graduation day cake will be superb. I promise. Oh yeah. There is one more thing on the map now. Golden star, all the way to the right. I like your spirit, Barbie. Why do you have nothing else to say to me, woman? I try to talk to you, and all you tell me is that you like my spirit. All you tell me is how much you like the things I do. I work so hard for this, and you just put me aside like a box of old horse radishes. That's what they put me aside as, and I don't appreciate it. So we're just gonna ride towards that star. And hope that it's... Yeah, we're going in the right direction. <laughs> There's not some sort of weird mountain that's going to stop us from going and taking the shortcut, right? There's nothing just going to be here and be like, yo, that's not happening. Wouldn't it be great, though, to just suddenly a ghost? Just a ghost horse flying next to me and be like, yo, we should race. And I'll be like, yeah, sure, ghost horse. And then we're just racing, racing through this rocky terrain and we're having all this trouble and the ghost is just being a ghost and just goes through the rocks. That would be cool. I guess. Have you noticed that we're reaching the end? And I'm reaching for commentary? Because I certainly have. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're finally finally getting there. Let us go to this final graduation day. Mm, thingamajigger. Come on, come on. Please, please move better. Teresa, what is left with your shenanigans? Teresa. Mmm, the raspberries and blackberries here all taste so good. I love fresh fruit. Maybe we should gather some for the other girls. We could take them back to the bunkhouse and surprise them. Let's find six more buckets of stuff. Did I? We, you have a phone. You could just Hello. call me for these things, you know? You could just be like, hey, Barbie, can you get us some buckets? Because we are in dire need of some buckets right now. And it would be great if you could get some. And I could, wouldn't be a problem, wouldn't be an issue. Not a problem at all. But no, Miss Teresa's gotta be like, yo, can you please come over here? There's only one way for us to communicate our, our desires to one another. And that is by the act of talking face to face. Blackberries look tasty. Because we're actually mobsters. And we only care about These blackberries look tasty. meeting up in secret locations, These blackberries look tasty. finding tasty looking blackberries, These blackberries look tasty. and leaving These blackberries look tasty. without a trace. These blackberries look tasty. Oh boy, I can't wait to return to Teresa. I can't wait to hear what she has to say about these nice looking raspberries that I just collected for myself. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I didn't even pick up that gem. I don't even care. I'm gonna leave that gem forever. I don't care that I missed that gem. Y'all can comment all you want, but I gotta be like, yo, you missed a gem? And I'll be like, yeah. Close but I also fell down and made the entire screen pink. Do you ever consider that? Those two things were connected. You see, missing the gem, pink screen. Kind of a pink screen. With a. <laughs> my horse is floating. Again. Yeah. Teresa. Hey, Barbie. Shut up. Great work, Barbie. This is gonna be so much fun. Please, where do I actually need to be? I just need to be back at the house. I kind of knew this, to be honest. <sighs> what a beautiful new morning. Hey, what a beautiful new morning. Shut up, Barbie. 
You're just gonna graduate. And that's gonna be the end of it. Bobby! <sighs> Course coming through. Oh! A video. What you got there, Barbie? That is a... It's a scrapbook I've been making of our adventures at the Staples. Why is it sound quality so idea. bad? She gave me the book. Wanna see? Absolutely. Oh, look. This is the day we arrived at camp. There's Kyle and Mrs. Hey. Roberts. Hey! You can even see Buttercup in the background. Remember our designs with the seashells? Yup. The hole looked so pretty. Oh, you got pictures of all the horses. Yeah, I took these right after our first riding lessons. There's Buttercup, Sparkles, and all the others. And remember when we helped fix up Fisherman's Wharf? Totally. That was such a good idea. Look how bright it looks now. Did you get any photos of the island? I sure did. Check this out. The ancient oak, the rainbow waterfall, the riding house, oh, <laughs> and of course, our room. I'm so glad we decided to come here for the summer, Teresa. Yeah, I could never have imagined how much fun we had. This is my favorite picture, though, so I saved it for the last page. You know, I think that's my favorite, too. Press A to continue playing, or press B to exit the main menu. Oh, I'm trying to cut it, it's awesome. So that was... Barbie Earth Adventures Riding Camp. That was definitely quite the adventure, if you ask me. I couldn't have asked for anything more from Daniel Stradgren and Adam Skoglund. Those sound like Nordic names, but yeah. I'm pretty okay with not playing this game again. I mean, there was a lot of racing, a lot of riding, but there wasn't really anything to do. But that's fine. Oh, DC Studio helped on this. I knew Batman was running around in the corner. Also, Rainbow Waterfalls did not have a rainbow. They just painted that above the picture and I feel... I feel warped. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling warped right now. And I want to see my rainbow, darn it, but whatever. We made it through. Dave Oxford did good executive managing. And I'm pretty sure most of the pictures were lies. Due to the fact that we never actually changed clothes and they were all in different clothing. Also, the horses actually have names. One of them was called Buttercup, one was called Sparkles. We never got to know their names. We only got to name their, like, their races. And I think that's horse racist, but... Whatever. What are you gonna do? We made it through. Jason's temple did a lot of things for this. And Alan Butterworth. Which I feel like Alan Butterworth worked on more names because I feel like I remember the name Butterworth. And it's a pretty great name. So thank you, Alan Butterworth, for existing in our lives. Just like Jamie Kerwold and Ryan Pedersen. Either way, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it as m the most, of course. Because we gotta get to all of these horse adventures. We saved a couple horses. We, s we uh, found some ancient jewelry from a dead person. Who lived a good life, after all, in the end. We picked up a lot of black, blue raspberries. We saved some birds. We, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we saved the last boat. That was very far away. We saved the cat. That was pretty good. Called Gordon. Gordon the cat owes our like his little life to us. And we learned how not to do audio balancing from this game. Did we do anything else? Uh, we cleaned the uh, clams from the horses' stables. And all in all, Hamster Ball Studios did a good job at doing the voice recording. Randall Ryan knows where to get his talent and where to direct their talent. And Kelly Sheridan. Sheridan? Isn't that the person, the, the, like the name in, from the person in, what's it called? Uh, Babylon 5. I think that person's name was Sheridan. Thank you, Kelly Sheridan, for making me think about Babylon 5. <laughs> Most people might not even know what that is, but it's a good show. And I know what it is, and that's all that matters. Warren Romero, probably a brother of John Romero. This is filled with a bunch of talent. 
Yeah, especially Errol Kattenbein. Especially. <sighs> I wish there was more music. The music was pretty good. But also missing a lot of the time. There wasn't much of it. Not sure why there wasn't so mu like much of it, but... The music that was there, it was pretty good. Mattel, of course. Mattel. Mattel. Midley. Pickaxe. Matlock. Matlock. It's probably pronounced Matlock. And an open dynamics engine. Between 2001 and 2007. And redistribution and in use of so source and binary, binary forms. With or without modification are permitted, provided that the following rock conditions are met. This software is... <laughs> okay, that's just not interested, but... <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely think this was one of our finest adventures so far. And it's a good way to celebrate 11,111 subscribers. Finally, things are good. Finally, things are great. And we saved all the horses. And I think it's time to say goodbye. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.